Greetings in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So wonderful, another Sunday. In fact, the last Sunday of uh, the month of August. So I take this time to welcome you all. Um, Fiji and also Fijians all over the world that you are connecting and uh, watching or listening to this program, Power in the Word in my television Facebook or New Methodist Christian Fellowship Facebook. For those in Fiji that you are watching on television, Nimbula Binaka, Vekinda Bakitu Goyani, Neather Tale, Neather Nimbula, Neather Ninganga, Nimone Turano, Chisu Christo, Tomanda Vaga, Buletu Goyani, Gina, Tutuni, Velutaki, Neveso Sugolo to Christo, Vaga Buletu Goyani, Vikenda, Pristendina, Superintendent, Na Oversea, Sekenda, Velutaki, Neveso Sugolo to Christo, and Matakani singing the day, Nim Bulabinaka, Ni Takani, Gravina Gatuni Tavi, and Alomani Madawa, Niva, Dabaro, Baba Talani, Dona Mada was a Tungo in Matanda. Panuni Vinagatuga and the Visoko Sogolo together by Christo, and Matakani singing the day, Kendan Tabana Levu, Kendona Lot Kabitu, we can dana Ecclesia, we can dana Presbyterian, we can dana Salvation Army, Nim Bulabinaka Gospel. I said, we can be a Baptist, and I can be a Swasililevu, can be a Swasililai. We saw so lot to Todoko. I was a bag of the wood and a civil and you will tell Akina. We can do a Pentecostal movement, uh, Assemblies of God, uh, Christian Mission Fellowship International, Kabakatel Nakin and uh, All Nation Christian Fellowship, the Kingdom uh, Ambassadors in Inonda Banua. Uh, we can debug it to Ganyan, Matakani singing in Dai, but about any vinger having go. Say when my television, the servant on a big screen, say we can again the servant on a Facebook, ni my TV, say Facebook, ni new method discretion fellowship. We can again the Gale Servama Lua, Sa, we can debug it to Gany, and a single and you live in Lot to Kelsara, Dindi Sugosolo to the Levena, the Bagabina Gabalivana Caloni, singing in Ganga Nikua. Tabuna and the Lotu Kukin and we sing a Tambu Bagongo, sing an Inganga, sing an Etuza Gatale, sing an Amaro Takakin and a clue, and a singer Vinaganikua. Santa Lanula in the Vilu Teka Babanua, the Vindalania Vere, Na Matantu, Waturani Kubuna, can a canavay Lutaki, can a Matevalu, can a Vitadini, Watalaki na Matantu, Ganga, Seko and Burbasanga, Furana Vunivalu, Vikin the Bagitugani. We can't have a Lutaki. And Mataka is going to die. Sending Ulevina Matantubio Kana Tobata. And Mataka is going to go on Bullet to Gani. To go on to Rangana to the Kau, and to Rangana to Maduata, and to Rangana to Imboa. Kawatalaki and I took to go to Nivelu Taki and to Rangawa, and Sarama to Rangolao, signed in Bulevinaka. No, we're having a weekend of Gani, and Mataka is going to go. Sending Ulevina Matantu. Sa bulabina kan na turang na presidente ng minimal tao wala ka ni barong ti umai sa bi kinta bagi tuga niya matagal ni siya ni kuwa na bole bu na gravita bi kina bilu tagi binak siya ni bulabina na turang na prime minister ng minimal tao wala urke den na makumbunin sa bi kinta bagi tuga niya na pata pata ni bi ingar mingo na koko man niya de chisu kami ni kaya sa ram ministers assistant ministers kami ni talaga na lueni parliament yun ay sa na ro ro as na Rakyat ini mula dapat anda, dulu mesti kau na matakan isi kandin dia, usah bagi kita bagi tuan ini, ena matakan isi kandin dia. Pemimpin sekretaris, kena na CEO, na bi directors, kawat lagi na kena na bi general managers, ni bi company ni lebu, company ni lai. Tambah ramai mata itu, wenger ramai mata itu ni mula minak, ena si minak ni kuah. Discipline forces tau doko, usah bagi kita bagi tuan ini, ena si minak ni kuah. Kawat awak si bi kena na tambah ni mula tu na. Na lain ini, bengkarabi, na itu liu, sabi kita bagi tu kani, ena singa bina kani kuat. Na ita bila bengkarabi tiko, tapi ni kena valu tiko, tu boleh membaca lele tiki tiko. Kena dia awak apa wujud sih telengan, na kena mati tiko na temata, ena mati tiko na COVID-19. Aku kira ni sabo lek sari tiko na lima nan rau, sabi sih kita na lima nan rau, na bana nan rau lima singa bulu, sabi kampar lagi tiko. Yang tambah kami minat tiko ni yang bulat tiko itu nak kelu. Saya kata mana kakek dengan aku kaya sahaja sekarang ini dua nak kasar dah kah. Mesti akan dia kata aku kaya. Nanti tapi ngan dah buli, 
Non dit pas que tu as un peu de temps, tu as un peu de temps. 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 Tu as un Gona ngona bina ngani ngarabi kalu boga yandu dua boga talagi na bamata wale wonderful time to serve god as individual and also as family as a household uh, because most of the time we we come together as a church or cell group or worship center or zone there are so many times that we come together but this is the time that only you and god and your family and god god is allowing that very soon it will be open again And I believe it's a time of reflection. It's a time of meditation. It's a time that we readjust and realign ourselves as we walk with God. So once again, I take this time to greet you all in the matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Sekatalani mo na da weekend na to weekend na tigo na COVID tinga diwa na tigo ibal nimbula si na isolate tigo si quarantine si ko ba kila tigo ngay so na symptom la lai na ko koma na niyade chisu na mataga ni si kadi dai. Sa baka tusa na mbula, sa baka tusa na mamanda, au sa baka tusa na vile subitale ni masela na bidiko na vino reki ni nra. Na ipaka roni baka sama kina kako rungoza, kina kako reitha, ena koko mani ya dhe chisu. Ma imbure ndalamu medo sara ingete ngete niyabamu, au sa masulaka na mbula, vikenda kete sara, ena tobi matitiko, ena mataka nisika ni ndai. Au sa dhunruba na yalo ni mate, au sa dhunruba na virus, au sa dhunruba na kena nganga, na kena... Na kena toxic, na na kena pagkaya ng taki me me kauta tigo ng bulay na koko mania de chisu, au sa tu sangata baka tatu bago ng duwata ka, na koko mania de chisu, me lutu somu tigo me lutu somu tigo me dama sa ngani sen, na koko mania de chisu, na mataga ni sigani day. Kani otu tinga u bago ng bulay tigo ni kuabi kanda na leo ibitin sa tuway ibya sa ibuwa ibuwa so so all of you that you are out there. Uh, going to other nation, other country for uh, schooling, education, or um, just migrate, or maybe you are on a holiday, um, maybe sports uh, contract. I take this time to greet you from the studio here in Turek in Suba. Thank you for watching. Not forgetting all the peacekeepers that you are out there in the Golan, maybe in Afghanistan, maybe those in uh, Iraq, those in uh, Sinai. Uh, wherever you are, you are tuning in live. I take this time to greet you in the matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ, wherever you are. And thank you for choosing to choose uh, this channel or this page uh, to watch and to hear what the Lord has placed in our heart this wonderful morning. We can do a new Methodist Christian Fellowship of Nuitaka ni Dabaga Rongobina Tumay na Matanga Nisig Ninday Lebo na kakira o sarabatiko na kaya na set up Totoka na set up Karuwa nga ni set up na katungo na studio Hallelujah Na be set up ay lago tiko may na kena Kena be zone Era set up tiko na kena be worship center Wakatalaki na be matabuwale Eva kasara nga kena na sinay Na set up Totoka ya Kami kandil volta mo kaya Toro mo na kalobi mga bote ni sambulo ko kaya It's not so much about how many will worship God. Maybe husband and wife, maybe husband and wife and the children, or maybe husband and wife and the children and the extended family. So the number is, is immaterial. It's the desire. It's the preparation that we want to turn to God this wonderful morning. So thank you so much, NCF, that uh, you are doing a great job in setting up. And uh, remember... Today is the last Sunday of uh, August and we have the Mission Sunday of Overseas and the Island Zones. So thank you so much for um, the August uh, that we are going through. And uh, we also receiving a lot of uh, um, the program that we are going out to give to our neighbors, the stakeholders and those that are uh, struggling in this life. To talk about in a And... Uh, na nanda bula ni solika se nanda bula bula ni kawita kawira na wekanda haleluya levu na congratulation levu na celebration levu na songo kina nda unama kame lako mainaka me yazo mainaka vikenda nda kame songo tiko ya kwa yungo mbitanga mainalo tamu me duindu wakalilai 
as the 5th of August 2002 that the church was registered with our, the government of the day. Hallelujah. So it's 19 years now. So God put this one aside so we can uh, uh, bless the people around us. We can bless the government workers. We can bless the Turani Vanuas. We can bless the, uh, the other Taltala, other churches, Pagatawa, and those that are working along with us in winning souls to Jesus at any cost. So we take this time on behalf of our leadership and the family and HQ, all the executive managers to say thank you so much. On behalf of our regional coordinators and uh, the divisional coordinators and the senior pastors, we take this time to say for the job well done in visiting and giving to the people around us, our neighbors, our stakeholders, and those that we work together in the ministry. So, maybe of orphanage, maybe those that are struggling, the poor, or maybe the elderly uh, that they are around your house. This is the time to give to them. This is the time to pray with them. And this is the time to bless them and bless them mightily. Hallelujah. So NCF, we take this time to thank you. Not forgetting those that are followers and uh, likes and partners and those that are always tuning in uh, in our program. We take this time to say Vinagamalevu. And not forgetting those that are, sometimes they come in with negative comments, the haters, the, they call themselves the enemies of NCF. But we take this time to greet you and uh, bless your life uh, for always uh, coming to the page, uh, even though there may be different intentions. But uh, it's the love of God. Hallelujah. As God is our strength and God is our light and our salvation, we take this time to bless everyone. We bless you, Fiji, this wonderful morning from my television platform in the mighty matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. So let us, let us lift our right hand and let us welcome the Holy Spirit. Wherever you are, lift your right hand with me and say in English to welcome the Holy Spirit. Two, three. Holy Spirit, we welcome you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. The Bible reading today is taken from uh, Second Chronicles chapter 20. I will read from verse 15 right up to verse 19. I know the lesson on the screen starts from 13, but I'll just read from, from verse 15 this morning. Hallelujah. He said, listen, King Joseph, and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army. For the battle is not yours, but God's. Tomorrow, march down against them. They will be climbing up the pass of seas. And you will find them at the end of God's in the desert of Jeruel. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your position. Stand firm and see the deliverance the Lord will give you. Judah and Jerusalem. Do not be afraid and do not discourage. Go out to face them tomorrow and the Lord will be with you. Joseph had bowed down with his face to the ground and all the people of Judah and Jerusalem fell down in worship before the Lord. Then some Levites from the Korahites and the Korahites stood up praising the Lord, the God of Israel, with a very loud voice. May God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit bless the scripture reading this morning. Hallelujah. Lord, we commit this reading. Thank you that you'll speak to us. You'll speak to those that are watching, those that will watch later. You'll speak to us individually and also as a family as we are worshiping as a family. Thank you, Father God, that your word Psalm 119, 105 is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Bless everyone 
that receive your word today. Thank you for the revelation knowledge. Thank you that you'll place the word into my mouth. I commit my life from the crown of my head to the sole of my head. Thank you, Father God, that there is a power and anointing that will be released from this platform to bless the people of Fiji right here, right now. In Jesus' wonderful name, we pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. So we'll continue. Hallelujah. This is the third Sunday that we continue with this topic and with the lesson. The battle is the Lord. Hallelujah. The battle is the Lord. Just be obedient. Neivalu and non naklo. And non natiko neivalu. Menda talai rawa. Hallelujah. Menda talai rawa. Non na neivalu. Be obedient. The battle is the Lord. And we are talking about three vast army. Three major great armies. That they are coming down to Israel to attack the king and the people that they live in Judah and in Jerusalem. We know the story. And this is the third Sunday that I believe that I will finish with uh, uh, the story and the message today. But I don't want you to remain in Judah or in Jerusalem or in the land of Israel. I want you to Bring the context to be relevant for you now. Kauta mai nei tuku tuku ni vi valango se na ivalungo kina no mumbule no vesinga. Mar ke bagay sanga na sanga soti ni ni effective ko na le suningo balta ni ko tikonga in the land of milk and honey, my Israeli. Hallelujah. You need to understand that God places His word to be relevant from. The beginning to the end, because that is word. So the Bible says that God was speaking to Joseph through the prophet, through the prophet. God was not speaking from the sky or through the cloud. No, God was speaking through a man of God. And I believe I'm standing here. I'm a mouthpiece of God to somebody that you are watching today. I'm a voice of God to somebody. The Rima word that will come from my mouth to you. Because the Rima word comes from the written word. We just read the scripture, written word. And I believe that God will flourish my life and will come to you as a Rima word. The message of the now. The message of the hour. Hallelujah. So God spoke to Joseph, do not be afraid. Do not fear. Do not be dismayed. The Bible says, he said, listen, King Joseph, and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army. For the battle is not yours, but God's. What assurance, we talk about that the first, the first uh, Sunday or two Sundays ago. And God is telling us, these are the conditions for God to operate. We are talking about the condition. Do not be afraid. Whatever you face in this life, so we can and that when you go, so that was another one. No more, more happy. Can no more amorati. Can no more matentuosia. Kasi lang ako dito matigori. Finance, relationship, husband and wife, maybe your children, maybe um, the, your neighbors, maybe your workplace. Sa tu sa tu ngay matamungori, eso na. Tamatei valu. Mero mai viva la batakiko. Ora kai moapi. Ora kai amoreiti. Ora kai irna kai sia. The Moabites, the Amorites, and the Seers. They are right in front of you. And you can't turn to the right, you can't turn to the left, and you want to turn back to run. 
And God is speaking to us this morning. Hallelujah. And we talk about the relationship between God and Moses. That God was speaking to Moses, do not be afraid. Do not fear as you go to Pharaoh and tell Pharaoh, release my people, says the Lord. It is God's voice. It's God's word. It is the instruction, the honor, the commandment is from God. And when God commands you, when God speaks to you, it's his word. It's not your word. This is not my word. It's his word. I'm reading his word and I'm trying to clarify or simplify his word to you. Hallelujah. So we talk about it. The news of the battle. The multitude, so many people. And that's why they were afraid and dismayed. Because of what they can see, what they can hear. You know, most of the time, fear comes because of what you hear and what you see. You make decisions because of what you see, what you hear, can become a fact. But the truth is, your God is with you. The fact is, three great armies are against them. That's the fact. They can see, they can hear all their spies and all their agents already report all those people that are coming forward. But the truth is, the God that saved them from the hands of Pharaoh, the God that put them through the dry land in the Red Sea, the God who supply manna every day of their life, the God who give them the river, to drink, and that river is still here today. The God who dry up the Jordan River for them to cross over. The same God is operating today. Hallelujah. So we already talk about that. Number two, be bold against them. Most of the time, we Christian, we are not bold. That's why uh, we are double-minded because we don't know the God that we serve. I remember the first Chronicles chapter 28, when David was speaking to his son, Solomon, my son, I command you to know your father's God. I command you. Because when you know your father's God, fear and timid or dismay will not be part of your life. There are a lot of people that you are watching this morning that you say that you serve God, but you are afraid. You are fearful. You cannot invest you, you cannot achieve because the fear of failure. What will the people say? If I fail, if I can't do it, if I can't make it, what will the people say? What will my relatives say? What will be my neighbors say? And that's why we, we, are, we don't have the boldness to move forward into the unknown or uncharted waters. And I want to challenge our life this wonderful morning. Be a history maker. Be a God chaser. I want to challenge you. Be a ghost buster. Be a peculiar person. Mota mata ndua tani. Mota mata zabu isau sau. Mota mata rawaka. Hallelujah. We are wired to achieve. The Bible says. We are wired. To be strong. The Bible says that the power within you is the same power that raised Jesus from the dead. That means fear or, bold, or feeling timid or missing the boldness that you're supposed to have. Just like the Israelites. When Goliath shout, they all ran away and hide from the king and all the generals. Amen. So David said, who is this heathen? Uncircumcised. 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 Hallelujah. 
And that's how David called this giant, the giant that they are afraid of, the giant that they are fearful to face, not even a single soldier. Take a we private, we lance corporal, we corporal, we satini, staff sergeant, WO2, WO1, second lieutenant, lieutenant, or captain, or major, hallelujah, or lieutenant colonel, or colonel, we tartar, we are the army commander. No, 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 not next week, not next month. So I was going to go to the house. Do it now. You know, some of us, we've been going to church, but we have the spirit of timid and fear. How is it? Hallelujah. So I was going to go, I was going to go. 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 How many? How is it? I was going to go to the Christian fellowship. Hallelujah. I'm walking according to the word of Jesus. Kago Koya. Signs and wonders will follow those that believe in my name. Mark chapter 16. Signs and wonders will follow, follow me. And they will cast out demons. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that is what the Lord has place in your life, those that believe in him. You don't have to become a taltala. You don't have to become a leader in the church. Those that believe his name, the name of Jesus. And I'm washed by the precious blood of Jesus. It is my duty because of the people around me to look at my health, to look at my life. So I do a annual uh, medical checkup because when I joined air traffic control back in 1982 and 83, we go through medical checkup and every year we, we submit our, our medical checkup. Why? Because we have to sit and to do what about the people of God? We must be healthy. How many? We must be strong so we can withstand every weather that comes our way to deliver the word, to speak the word. How many? People are not to take it to mind. We corkor vindelana. Hallelujah. Can we sing that? And can I wash our eyes? So, so can I turn sour? So can we stand up? So can we bang? And I turn low? Let's turn my body. Why? Because of good health. Can we can hold up? Don't you know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Then Paul added that it's very important for us to know this morning. In Romans chapter twelve, the Bible says, "I beseech you, brother, in view of God's mercy." Offer your body as a living sacrifice, a holy sacrifice, a pleasing sacrifice. Because this is your spiritual form of worship. Tamatambula bula. Tamatambula bula. Offer your body as a living sacrifice. Father Moraneng umundo umi mandra limbula. Kuni mandra limbudesa. Kuni mandra limbaboa. Kuni mandra limbada. 
So you have to look after your body. Hallelujah. It's not part of the lesson, but I, I'm challenging us because we can, we can be bold because we know what we have. We know the Lord that we serve. We look after our body physically and God will look after our spiritual walk with God. And we have the power to pull the spiritual gift of God and put it into our body. Hallelujah. Kati weekend ni voltambu. Donge ba kalambo na ngom do mi mandra limbula mbula. Si mandra limbula. Offer your body as a living sacrifice. Not half dead sacrifice, not kanikani sacrifice. Living sacrifice, holy. Sama sama sarang, sama sama. Sangan ndo ya lewa, sangan ndo tangani. Hallelujah. Sangan ndo mateni. I'm surprised na lebu ni marijuana. Na lebu ni ngunu ngunu ngona zaka tibiti. Si ndo ebu na utaka. Lako nga maine ngu na zaka sarake nebu nao. Hallelujah. Nobody speak against the sinful life that we are, that we are, uh, people are enjoying. They thought that is right because no man of God speaks straight. Zaka tu na ngunu ngona. Zaka tu na tei marijuana. Si ni zaka rawa. Asana tini kaba ni nonda wanua. Sindo ebu na utaka sin sin lako na kena vimba na Facebook na marijuana na hango na sa paga buna tuna lenga ni kuwa kapaga buna tuna mbasuka na containment area mbasuka na social so mta ngapi kenda zala tuwa matendo ni barong tu mani kuwa hemeni no muda zala tuwa na zurubale ngune ngoro wa bogiti go hallelujah how can you expect the people down there to follow the instruction ni so mta kenda vilu tu bogiti go Pilu tak kibawa nuah, pilu tak kibawa lotu, pilu tak kita lengah apa macam tu. Dapat rokat tu kan? Nalau anda bintang tu kan ibu dalil ibu nuah. Yang lebih baik sini. Hallelujah. So we must look after our body. It's a gift of God. The Bible says before you are even formed in your mother's womb, I already knew you. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to the Lord. Wherever you are this morning, we need to be people of holiness. Amen. How on ruka taka ni ndo tukuni biya, na lebu ni taltala, her vuno taka against na zula. Amen. Zaka tu na tei marijuana, zaka tu na tei angona. Kena vi matagali, zero glue kina vaka vitalia. Sega ni duwe mosukina. Hallelujah. Mingi longa ame ni zula, me musuka lebu. Me musuka lebi, me musuka lebi, me taroba, no mate paga yo yo ni tabata. Nga ilebu na kena paga theology taki paga ibola tambu. When it is a responsibility of a person, hallelujah, to look after your body. Dona singa ubi wa se ituki na unge ituki na. Ena lesi me mate paga yandu anata mata. Kenda na mate kede, yana nomu i mate mate. Sana paga tobiko. Whether you die young, it's because of you, not because of God. God already said that everybody will die one day. We are going towards our graveyard. But how you die and the way you die depends on your decision. Some people die on the road. Some people die in the playground. Some people die. They are diving. Um, uh, see, uh, see food. Or maybe they are just swimming in the river. And the current is strong. Some people die because of the wrong decision. They want to cross from one island to the island, even though the weather has been not good for a few days. So we are going to our graveyard, but when and how it depends on your decision. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God said, you can... Lako mo bitu sa kabulu. Iko rin yado na bitu sa kabulu. Hemeni. Walu sa kabulu sa kanyoda. So God is aiming at 70 to 80. O baka sa mataka. I remember. I remember very clearly. Back in 2009. 2009. Hallelujah. Lebu na biba luta ki ulago kina. Biba luta ki sa alang tunga. Doon na lenga tiko. Le sumay babakiw. We nearly every night barbecue. Amen. Because I have a lot of people who 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 have
Nangono with a kawakin no medical check uh, checkup because I normally do my medical checkup here on a yearly basis. Oh wouldn't you want to say there is a lot of red meat? Hallelujah. Lebu telang anda mata mata tiga ego. Puna uti ko, biar masuk lagi tiga. Bulat tiga mata mata. Lebu telang anda mata wih cisu. But I was not looking after my body. Kau nih soli soli ni kalau biar mule puna uki na muka muka uki na. Mau tuh lagi tiga. Mau zilia senengo, mau zilia senengo. But so sa puna sa anda betul ngah. Berapa ba? They don't look after their body. How many? So sa anda betul sa mata mata sa wakarau ni lagi tel tu nengo na. Why? Because we don't look after our body. Because I'm speaking from experience, I was not looking after my body. Sa zala tu mandang anak kau kenyang na bapa kiu, bapa kiu, bapa kiu. Eh, rendi bapa bapa kiu, dia pangalai lai. Gua sama ni bising ah. Rendi ni tu mai mai nanti. Lebung anak kau na utuk isu apa terkait orang ni. Hallelujah. Lebung anak kau na sa bapa kiu tu ngah. Sa otia gay lagu tel tu na sprite apa terkait na fanta. Bongi lebu. Oti angai na ngono ni kana ni oti ribi balutak. Ke oti ribi balutak ina tini. When we finish at ten. And we will arrive to our home in Lozala or to the base at 11 or 12. I was preaching. I was not drinking kava. I was not smoking. I was not doing other things. But I was not looking after my body. You listening to me today. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. I beseech you, brethren, in view of God's mercy, Offer your body as a living sacrifice, holy sacrifice, pleasing sacrifice, because this is your spiritual act of worship. I was a sweet kind of a baby, Kani, and all of my bag of money is gone. Don't give me that number one in the world. Me mandra limbula, mandra lisosva, mandra limina kesara. But the gong asa no mundo isoro bagayalo, wala no mundo kalo. Oh, glory to God. Lebut itu nak rere ni kau malta ini kau ngakilati kau, Hallelujah. Sangat itu susut kau bawa binaka, ini kau ngakilati kau. When David said, My son Solomon, know the God of your father. You must know the God of your father. When you know the God that you serve, that you that that is in front of you, the God that you serve every day. Anything, anything, do tu lebih agak. Eh, tu kuni tu kau rasa zula, rasa sin bawa bau tanah kalu. Hallelujah. Yeah, I'm a very vocal preacher. Any decision against serving my God, I'll be the first one to shout. I'll be the first one to go public. I'll be the first one. I'll be the first one. Ni sengan ni terai nanu kau bawa bau tanah kalu. Hallelujah. Pina kau boleh buka muni nabi lu tak bawa manua. Pina boleh buka nabi lu tak bawa maten tu. As long as my faith in God is, is given freedom, that's okay with me. Amen. The moment I have a lot of people who are going to be Hallelujah. So, you can't get a lot of people who are going to be able to do it. I will go to my upper room and I'll turn to Jerusalem and I'll pray more than Daniel. Hallelujah. If they put me in the lion den, or they put me to the cell, or they put me to the maximum security, it's uh, no discussion. I am willingly. Why? Because I don't want to, my, my faith to be compromised. But what is happening today? We are given the freedom. So Hallelujah. So na kalalai, boleh kini nonton rumbula yang disingkap ini dengan kuah. Okay, last week I was talking about taking up your position. The taking up your position is talking about the discipline life. Do tuba, do tu. I'm speaking on the tuba. Tuba means you adjust yourself. You look to the left, you look to the right. Your physical position, your physical obedience. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your position. Come on. Take up your position. Take up your position. It's talking about discipline. Sini tal tal tigo le ngunyang gona tigo tal tal tigo le kakasi tigo tal tal tigo le lasi tigo itu ba take up your position 
take up your position. For God to be on your side, for God to fight for you, then take up your position. I was speaking on that last week. How many? And regardless what the people will say, no harm shall come near you because you are taking up your position. Your position in the morning, your position of prayer, your position to the word, your position to be a service to people around you. Huh? Yeah, those are the positions. Your positioning to God and your position to the service to your neighbors. You serve God and you serve the people around you. How many? Okay. Go on a lesson in Nikwa. I will go to number four and number five. Number four. Stand and wait. Hallelujah. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up a position and stand firm. What does stand firm mean? You've been fasting for 40 days. You've been fasting for 40 days. For you've been fasting, fast, fasting for 40 days. You've been without food for one month. You've been without food for 10 days. You've been without food for three days. Whatever fasting that you're on. Whatever. Hallelujah. Take up your position and wait. When you come to God, you leave everything to Him. You wait. Your duty is to take up your position. Your duty is to readjust your position. Your duty is to see how you are positioned. And wait. And then you allow God to move in. You allow God to move. Because God will not move until you take up your position. If David take up his position, then God will move in. If Moses take up his position, then the waves in the Red Sea will be separated. You take up your position. Stand and wait. Stand and wait means believing. Stand and, and wait means meditating on the word of God. Hallelujah. The word that you have. No arguments, no complaints, no disagreement, no negative comments. Hallelujah. You just take up your position and you wait. You are releasing the physical that you have to God. You are telling God, now, this is my position. You move into your position. When the Bible says to Abraham, you go, I'll give you a son. They, they took up the position, leaving Babylon. They left Babylon. They left their old place and they were taking up their position. But they don't wait. And Sarai gave her concubines or the concubines that were around. See, they were not waiting. And what happened? Ishmael came into the picture. Most of the time, friends that we are watching, that we are listening this morning, when you take up your position, it, it means you totally surrender. You are not relying on anybody else. You are relying on God. You just taking up your position. I took up my position. Just go and pray. Relying on God. Just go and pray. Relying on God. Just go and pray. Relying on God. Just go and pray. Fasting. Hallelujah. Fasting. 19 years. Every month. Every month. There is a program of fasting in New Methodist Christian Fellowship. Hallelujah. Taking up your position. When you take up your position, then wait. You've done your part. That means you release the gear. You release the will. Jesus, take the will. But you cannot release the will if you are not taking up your position. These two, they go hand in hand. Hallelujah. 
Let us read again. You will not, you will not need to fight this battle. You will not have to fight this battle. Take up your position. Stand firm. Your standing means firm. You are not moving backwards. You are not moving sideways. Tau ranga no mui tutu, do tuba. Tau ranga no mui tutu, do tuba. From the tall to the short. From the left to the right, do tuba. Discipline life. I'm to, na, na tuba means discipline life. Discipline draws anointing. I always share with the mission team when we started back in Nandi in 2005. And when we started... I told the mission, six boys, and later increase and increase and increase till today. I told them, you know, discipline draws anointing. Nambula bagay bagarawe and reta na ilumunikalo. Igorani kila ni voltambu, igorani bagamadal ni voltambu, igorani serta ka ni voltambu. Ike bagaw si nimbula ta ka nambula bagay bagarawe. There is no signs and wonders. You can have signs and wonders, but all, all in the class one to class eight in the primary school. But when you go to another level, impact your life, impact the society, impact the nation. That means you are in a different level of anointing. Balatadaba, tuba, tuba, talerora, tuba. Hallelujah. Sini sugai muri, sini kota mai nataya na kinandui tau tau. Senga tuba, kema bale na discipline life. If you are watching this morning, you want your family. To receive the blessing of God, discipline, discipline tagi roto nongone, discipline tagi na kai rongodi, discipline tagi na kai serabi, discipline tagi na vital noi lomani bale. Hallelujah. Kwa ninda kaseta nga, kwa ninda loma zata nga, nindu era waka, nindu achieve. No, they achieve that through discipline life. Do tu ba, do tu. Bula baga ibaga rau. Himeni. I'm sorry to address this morning, wherever you are. That Christians are known in Fiji for very indisciplined living. Levu na basulawa ngoni biti ngoni biti lotu daba. Levu na baga bitalia ngoni biti ngoni biti lotu daba. Levu na ngoni ngo na bi zawiya kitungo basuka tuko na curfew at eight o'clock. Ngoni biti yar lotu daba. Takoso na COVID kandabu hemeni basika kina isona. And so now, indiscipline, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. And lockdown to, I'm going to be able to do it. Indiscipline. I'm going to be able to do it. Hallelujah. This is the fact and the truth that we don't want to accept. Because most of the time, we are just full of pride. And when we address the issue, we don't want to listen. We see it as judgmental. We see it as a point of the finger. And the reason to go to the lewa, go in a ton ton mata. Senga, every now and then we turn on the mata and we start to invest our own dumbula. We start to rawa ka, we start to go to the basulawa. So we are going to, so we are going to rawa. We are going to kiss it. We are going to kanda. We are going to kanda. And so we are going to talk to some people. We are going to say, "We are going to talk to some people." We are going to say, na kilaba ta taxi bal na la ka tak tunga na petrol haleluya de o barro ngot ni kwa no ngui tabi ba ka tal tal mo ka tu ko bi kenda na mataka ni sika ni nai my people who are called by my name who are called by his name the christian o kenda na lotu ba kristo na barro ngot ni kwa ka sa ka ba ka mandu andina ratale ro ro re hindu ratale ro ro re muslim Nagai dua tu na pimba bagai tamer abir na lutu pak Kristo. Orang anggor basulawatiko, orang anggor kuzutiko, orang anggor butakutiko. Kalau tim maruan itu kor, Sibia na bagai Italia. Berwekani, hendak matakan ni singan dinai. Ni bosutiko mai nak kalau menda rongoda. Kami kena bual tamu cerma tol sob iskeli tol sob bulga tolu. Nindo sahre dana iskeli uau ni salah kat umai kat kota mai nama te. Do tiko nanda bui iskeli. Hubu na tiko na ndabui. Kiko sarida na mate. Na baka loloma ni salao tumai. Hubu na tiko na ndabui. Sound the trumpet and warn the people that the son of death is coming. The son of the Lord is coming. Ezekiel. 
If you don't blow the trumpet and warn the people, they will die because of their decision. But their blood I will ask from you. Ezekiel, if you blow the trumpet and warn the people, the decision for them is because they do it anyway. But their blood I will also ask from them, not from you. I am blowing a trumpet this morning. We cannot be lutaki. We cannot turn any coro. We cannot be lutaki baba nua. We cannot be lutaki nandela niabu. I cannot My people who are called by my name humble themselves and turn away from their wicked ways. The wicked ways. What are the wicked ways? Sinful life, fornication, idol worshiping. Adultery. Oh, hallelujah. Stealing or thief. Drunkard. These are wicked life. Bickering and slandering. Homosexual. It is something that we need to know. Because the hands of God is coming. The death is coming. Disasters are coming. Fire in some place, cyclone in some place, disagreement in some place, street fighting in some places. Why? Because we turn away from the word of God. Do tu ba, do tu. When we release everything to God, let God build the house. The Bible says in Psalm 127, if God is not building the house, then the builders will work in vain. If God is not watching the city, and those that watch the city will watch in vain. Hallelujah. Kene kalima, kene kene oti oti. You shall see the salvation of the Lord. Turanga kene marama in dundon menda na reiza na kaiza kavana kalo. In dundon mo reiza na blessing in the kavana kalo. See, try to bring the context of the lesson in the Old Testament or from the Bible to you. You now. Are you seeing some goodness? Of the living, you go ready to go on a cabby back room with Taki. You go ready to go on a car, the cabba to go on a clow. The favor, the flavor, or you are struggling along. Nan Rabun Rabuak in a lang, a brother Magore, a Robiwe cani, and Rabun Rabuak in a lang, a kinny brother, or Robiwe cani, or Rongo Robiwe cani, Walexara, Nan Rabun Rabuak in a langa, neighbor brother, check the neighbor brother, do on a casa and the catico, and the comeback my own on the gasse. And the Samberni be Butunitaka. Hallelujah. Sangani Lagalaga and Liga Chobo may not be Bombay. Sangani do not the Lingan Meron of the Lundermas. Tunoga, Numundo Lagala Satarovi, Ikemundo may be out. Nalinga Mundo Nangangalo Nilo, Tempin Usumundo, Ginello Mundo. Gangalo Nalinga Tempin Usunda, Emenda, Cannibal Tam, Dubina Catanambula Gina, Nambula Binaca, Kinambula Dinde. Hallelujah. I want to challenge our life this wonderful morning. Levuna vivazani, Rabagazani or Rabilu Taki, Rabagazani urna, Tomata Nicolo. Hallelujah. Rabagazani gura rawatira, Rabagazani gura rasambo, who talk of in Agatoka, Rabagazani gura. Era stamatun and rendre. Salebuna bibadani. Yana sign ni balbada. It's a sign. The condemnation of people. We are talking about people. We are become the issues that we talk about are the people. No. When you are men of God, when you believe in God, you talk about the issues. We talk about the issues. We deal with the issues. The same name, Nreta Sombuna Turanga, the same name, Nreta Sombuna Turanga, Kenda Bosatiko and a car and issues as a Gatico. But on a clove, Peter to weekend and issues, Volatico Paula Viraca Corri, the Mateno Nivola, can I say on, or Ziwak in a Chinigandua? Do Kakunibaka Sinicum do Baltava, Nakolo Sindra Nibagaliai. Do Lautan Menevola. Hallelujah. But on a Sindra Water Matan Tunicolo. Kan ibol tap kuren daun dara kuren garam betekau kuren daun yalewa kuren bi bi bakane yalewa kuren bi modeli bakatangane kuren daun kolo kolo kuren daun butako kuren daun meteni 
Kuri ndo mibuka shoshwani. Kuri ndo kome kome. Meba ka usa ka eliwa una ka talengo. Shaka ni ndo mirongo ena rota. Na matentu nikalo. Ya kemdo. Shobi kemdo abatu ya eliwa. Ndo usa. Sil sabai. Ndo usa anderei. Ndo usa apaka shoshwataki. Ena nra ni ngoni turanga o chisu karisto. My friend. We have option. Dingin dingin manda na matangan ni sikin dinday. Dingin tanga manda. Mungka rabi kalo baka alo ba indina. Maybe you are listening from home. You are not taking your serving God very seriously. I want to challenge your life. This is the time to serve God. You know, sometimes when we are educated, we trust in our knowledge. We trust in what we achieve. But if you are not trusting in God, the Bible says that the foolishness of God is still wiser than the wisdom of men. That means our wisdom... Our knowledge come nowhere near the foolishness of God. I want to have the foolishness of God because that's still wiser than the wisdom of men. The achievement that we have, the degree or maybe the masters or maybe the doctorate, it comes slower than those who have the foolishness of God. And the foolishness of God. Just like a, a young boy, just like a young girl. I want to be like that. What about you? Maybe you're listening this morning. I want to challenge your life. Make a decision today. Want to be a foolishness of God, rather, to rely on the wisdom of men. This is the time. If you know that you are committing sins, nobody knows, not even your wife, not even your husband, not even your children know that you are committing sin. I want to challenge our life. This is the time to come to God. You do one decision, God will do the rest. I come to you this morning because I'm a sinner. I surrender my life. Because your word says... When we come to you, you will forgive our sins and wash away all our iniquities. And that's why I'm here. Thank you, Father God, that you will wash away all my sins from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet. And I thank you for this morning, the opportunity to make a decision. And I want to decide right. This is my prayer. Hold me. Accept me. Lead me and rule over me. In Jesus' name, I pray. Heavenly Father, I pray over all those decision-making that are going on right now in churches or in homes, in the car, in the office. Thank you, Father God, for their life. I seal and cover their life with your precious blood from the crown of their head to the sole of their feet. I bless their life in the name of Jesus. Thank you for open doors and opportunity. Thank you for your blessings into their life. Thank you for the wisdom and the knowledge of God that will be implanted into them. Thank you for the surrounding angels that they look after them. Thank you for the Holy Spirit, the guide, the teacher, the friend who will be with us today and counsel us in every way that we go. We thank you, Father God, as I bless their life, every one of them, every single one of them, whether in Fiji or listening around the world. We thank you, Father God, as I release your anointing power. I release your anointing power, O oh Lord. And we thank you. We give you the glory and the honor and the praises. And we thank you. In Jesus' wonderful name we pray and everyone say amen and amen. Oh, hallelujah. Just lift up your right hand. Let us come to an end. Give him the glory and the honor and the praise. Two, three. Holy Spirit, we thank you in Jesus' name. Jesus is Lord. To God be the glory forever and ever. Amen. From the studio here in Turek in Suba, we'll see you at 10.30, God of our nation. Have a blessed Sunday.